Well, the predominant routes for the taxi rank are long distance, and of course, uh, those routes would be Mabupane and Petersburg. Petersburg being, of course, Pulukwane. However, you do also get some mid distance and short distance uh, routes here that will be servicing the greater Pretoria or Tuani area. But uh, predominantly, it is long distance, and uh, the mood here has been quite uh, elated uh, as I've been here for. Uh, a large part of the afternoon. I'll just step out of shot now, so give you a, a, a scene of what is happening. Uh, and uh, you can see that uh, the lines are quite long. The lines have been long, consistently long, uh, throughout the better part of the afternoon as uh, commuters are rushing to make their way home. But uh, you can see that uh, the commuters here certainly have heeded the call to come out early and uh, to try and uh, make sure that uh, they get onto the road and get home early so that uh, there's no knock on or additional pressure on both the drivers here and the drivers if they are connecting at uh, their next destination to make it home to their loved ones and uh, some of the commuters that I spoke to were also saying that uh, the message they have for the drivers and what they would like to see is that uh, they would like to see safe driving and they would like to see themselves arriving alive and uh, this is the call let's hear what uh, the taxi association is going to respond to that. That's Mr. Murila, who's speaking to us now. Mr. Murila, commuters are saying that uh, they would like to arrive alive, appealing to drivers to drive safely. As an association, taxis have been leaving here uh, from uh, around 8, 5.30 this morning. Have you had any reports of any incidents? No, not yet. Uh, I think our drivers are, say, are uh, sticking to the speed limit and they are doing a, a good business. What we want to make sure is that we use regular drivers so that because they know the road, they know the dangers, and they are not in a hurry. All right. And uh, the issue of uh, accumulated fatigue amongst drivers, you have highlighted you use regular drivers. Do you encourage them to take uh, rests uh, in between the journey? Yes, from here, they make a, it's a compulsory. They make one or two stops. From here, most of them, they stop at the Nabom Spray, from Nabom Spray, is uh, Mokopan, Mokopan is Peter's back, and they come back. Can you give us an idea of how many taxis or minibus, uh, minibuses have left uh, the rank on average today, and uh, how many more are you expecting by the end of business today? Uh, since uh, 5 a.m., uh, we have more than 200 cars uh, that have left Pretoria to Polokwane, to Messina, uh, to Bohom, and to Zanini. Yes. And uh, in terms of... Uh, the time frames, when do you, when does the last taxi leave and uh, what's your message to commuters who are hoping to catch the last taxi? Uh, our message to commuters is that uh, we are knocking off at 7 o'clock, so we like them to come early so that they can get their transport, they can connect when they get to Pulukwane. And then you see this is an association car that is loading here, so we make sure that also uh, uh, the drivers get uh, uh, chances like this one is doing their second load since in the morning. So from here, the driver is going to sleep in Peter's bag to get a rest and then come back tomorrow. All right. No, thank you very much for that information. That's Mr. Muila, who is the manager here at uh, the taxi rank, and giving us an overview of uh, procedurally what happens. Uh, and what is encouraging, though, is that uh, many, if not all, of the commuters inside these minibus taxis are encouraged very strongly uh, to wear their masks, as are the drivers. So that is one thing that is being taken into consideration. Even though the taxis are packed uh, to full capacity, uh, you are not allowed to board the vehicle if you don't have your mask on. And the vehicles are also equipped with sanitizer to make sure that there is safety. So certainly all angles trying to be covered. But uh, another strong point that the associations here have stressed is that drivers will not be allowed to get behind the wheel if they are inebriated, if there's any suspicion that someone has... Uh, partaken in alcohol or has taken any substance that will uh, affect their uh, thinking and their reaction on the road, they are not allowed to move further or not allowed to drive uh, commuters. So this is also very encouraging in a bit to try and avoid the kind of incidents that we saw when uh, we had that horrific uh, you know, uh, collision in the Free State province that claimed up to 14 lives, something that shocked the country. And uh, uh, the association is also very firm to say that they want to ensure that everyone arrives alive arrives home and has much needed time with uh, their families after some very long, difficult months under COVID-19 restrictions, under COVID-19, and uh, many people are just saying that they want to be with their loved ones. Uh, with that, it's back to you in the studio, Judy.
as you resist the urge to jump onto one of those long-distance taxis tomorrow. Let's say thank you to you and leave it there for now.